Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Singube and I want to give an update on the Zimbabwe exemption permit applicants uh, who have been sending us uh, some rather to respond to their WhatsApp messages. Those who have been sending us messages asking us on what to do as we move closer towards the 30 June deadline for the expiry of the Zimbabwe exemption permits. Uh, what we have been receiving are uh, inquiries on whether or not there's been any changes pertaining the expiry date of the Zimbabwe exemption permits if this, it is going to be uh, renewed or extended rather or if the permit is going to be renewed and what we have been getting so far is that there hasn't been any move towards uh, making easier the application process or the qualification process there hasn't been any changes in as far as the immigration act of south africa is concerned there hasn't been uh, any leniency from the south african government towards zimbabwe exemption permit holders uh, and also uh, the court cases that have been planned uh, are still going on, which means that uh, it's going to be a hard hit area as we go ahead because uh, of the animosity that is going to be uh, experienced between the Home Affairs Department and those that are taking it to court because you know that the Minister of Home Affairs has already uh, promised that he's going to fight uh, all the way until he wins which means that government has invested a lot of money uh, into fighting whatever court case is going to uh, be rolled out or whatever case is going to be taken to court in terms of litigating uh, on behalf of the zimbabwe exemption permit holders nevertheless there are some cases that we expect uh, to go to court the helen susman foundation is one of those organizations uh, that are taking government to court you also know about uh, an organization that claims to represent zimbabwe exemption permit holders uh, it is led by advocate Sibba Chitando there are also other men that are going to take this case all the way uh, until they win so it's going to be a protracted battle that we are uh, looking forward to uh, and then the government of Zimbabwe is saying that uh, it's going to hold a, 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 a press conference tomorrow uh, to roll out uh, its plans to help Zimbabwe exemption permit holders who want to relocate uh, back to Zimbabwe. We don't know as yet uh, what it is that they have in, in store, but we know that they've been making a lot of promises, many of which have not been fulfilled. So we are taking whatever they're going to say tomorrow with a pinch of salt. Uh, from the government of South Africa's uh, previous statements, what we can advise you is that uh, this is the last throw of the dice uh, for you to go ahead and make the applications for waivers first and then uh, if you are granted those waivers you can then go ahead and apply for a permit. I wouldn't advise you if you know that you don't qualify for any particular permit uh, among the mainstream South African permits that are there to go ahead and apply for a permit because what is going to happen is that you will be rejected. You'd rather apply for a waiver uh, stipulate i mean stating exactly which uh sections of the immigration act uh if vis-a-vis -vis the permit that you want to apply for you need to be wavered and then if you are granted that waiver you can then apply uh, for a permit if you are not granted the waiver you at least know that you then do not qualify to apply for any permit so this is uh, what i thought i should update you there's been no changes in as far as the expiry date of the zep is concerned there's been no changes in as far as qualifying criteria uh, qualification criteria for people who want to apply for mainstream south african permits uh, is concerned and the zimbabwe exemption permit is definitely not going to be renewed so that what that is what we had for you but we also have feedback from people uh, who have applied for waivers uh, who say that they have been granted the waiver they qualified for some waivers some of those are those who applied for the critical skills category without qualifying directly for the levels that are, are listed uh, under the Immigration Act or under the critical skills list. Uh, 
uh, those have applied and they've qualified so we are still waiting for any more feedback from some of you because what we know is that the processing or the adjudication of uh, waivers or waiver applications has been uh, reached in some positions in some uh, with some of the applicants so if you are one of those who has been responded to and you have collected your outcome please let us know if you did qualify or if you didn't qualify also let us know what you are applying for and what uh, you wrote in your or what you submitted when you went to the vfs offices so that we can at least assist those who are still in a country as to whether or not uh, to apply for the waivers thank you very much please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it